Hey everybody, and welcome to the exciting finale of Two Worlds. We've cleared out all the weird quasi-cut content we had around Clovelly, and we've talked about the game and some of the things missing from it in great detail, I think. All that's left is to go talk to Kira at this node and then wrap things up with Gandahar. I am so happy to see you again. How do you feel, Kira? Poorly. It has never been so hard to use a node. There is something poisonous in the energy of these places. Can you feel it? Nay. I feel nothing. Verily. I feel the presence of something at this very moment. I cannot tell you what it is. But I feel it watches us. If they can hear us as we speak, tis bad, Kira. Nay. It is something... strange and... and cold. Like the taint. Ah, Kira! This nameless taint is only a figment of folks' imaginations. All their bad ghosts in their minds. You are weary. That is the reason for these hallucinations. Mayhap. But I do not feel safe here now. Whatever it is, we should not meet in the future. Someone could learn what I plan to do, and our element of surprise will be lost. I worry for you. And what if they succeed, and Azirel returns? Let them do it. He is a god and his place is here, not in a tomb. You speak like an orc. Nay, but war will always be, whether within Aziral or without. So why should we care? They do not want Azirel back. They only want his power. Ah, sister. They cannot command a god. We do not know what they can do. And this is why I beg you to be cautious. If you have no choice, you must forget me. My life matters nothing in the face of the evil you could release upon the world. Ah, I will free you and still find time to settle with Reist and his merry men. Gandahar will force you to finish the ritual. I cannot tell for sure, but mayhap he will stand with us when the time comes. You also vouched for him, did you not? Aye. Gandahar wants to help, but... Oh, I cannot be sure. Hear me, dear sister. When I next see you, it will be in Kudinar. No one could stop me now. This must be done. <laughs> I begin to understand why our parents never told you the whole truth. Nevertheless, I love you as you are. Until Kudinar, then. Alright, it's time to head to Kudinar. Unfortunately, there's no convenient teleport to Reist. However, in the interests of making the finale more exciting and less walking through miles of wolves, I have placed a few of those teleport stones that I've always had but never used. One of them, quite conveniently is right here. There's Gandahar. Let's talk to him, hand over the relic, and see where it takes us. Tell me, how fares your mission? Have you found all five parts of the relic? I have it. Do you wish to see it? Nay, but Reist will indeed be satisfied with these tidings. You should make haste to meet him in Kudinar's square. Oh, by the way, he wanted me to give you this. A robe? For a secret meeting of congregation students, mayhap? Ha! There will be much lightning in the air. Tis dangerous. Remove all metal from your body and put this on. Tis linen and much safer than that which you now wear. Will you be there during this ritual? Aye, but why do you ask? You said you are beholden to Kira that you owe her something. I must now ask you for something. If this something does not require me to betray my masters, I will consider it. What do you have in mind? You and no one else shall bring Kira to me when I demand that she be brought to me. Ye gods, you trust no one, mercenary. I have no reason to trust anyone. Tis agreed. You can count on me. Until we meet in Kudinar, then. Farewell.
We had an agreement. I have done my part. We shall decide that. Show me the relic. First, Kira. Release her or say farewell to your trinket. You're making a bad mistake. Bring the girl. Keep the relic. But we shall leave now. Do not try to stop us. You have forgotten something. The Azeroth matter concerns me no more. Do as you wish. Tis of no import to me. If that is so... Yourselves. Why? Why? Kira! Your sister's destiny is to be the new home for Azirah. Her soul will now be able to sustain such a burden. We had to ensure that the souls of the twins separated during birth were reunited at the proper time. Now you understand why we needed all of you here. What will happen to her? Do not fret. We shall attend to everything. What shall we do with him, Master? He is strong. He should survive until dawn. But we have no time to affirm this. Let us go. I am alive. Who are you? My name is Baylor. We were hoping to find Ryst and his group here, but we found only you. Ah, do you also seek Aziral? You come too late. I, I know. We knew that someone gave orders to Ryst. And we were hoping you would help us to find out who that person was. That was a mistake. T'was Gandohar. He played the part of the friend, then showed his true colors. He fooled me well. Gandohar? That mercenary? Ah, the ancient have become more cunning, I see. They usually use the weak brain who are easy to convince. I would never have suspected Gandohar. Who are the ancients? Gandohar spoke of them also. They are gods, banished from their own world. They seek a new place to live, and now they have Aziral, all thanks to you. Why did you not stop me if this was so important? We wanted you to lead us to the one who gives the orders. It was a poor decision. 
No matter. Now we must find a way out of this muddle. It will not be a simple task, I fear. I will do it myself. I have unfinished business with Gandahar. I do not believe you can get to the castle. The wastelands are full of tainted creatures, and the energy released from the tomb helped them to raise a barrier around the walls. Have you seen the sign in the sky? It is huge. We did not know that the dwarves imbued the tomb with so much energy. As long as that sign is there, the magical barrier will not fall. I will attend to that myself. The sign seems to be anchored in the Black Towers. Mayhap if one of the anchors were taken out, the entire construction would fall. Aye, we shall see. Where is the nearest tower? To the east, on the way to the Tainted Castle in the Wastelands. Are you sure you wish to do this? Try and stop me. If you fail, we shall take the matter into our own hands, and you'd better not stand in our way. Nevertheless, good luck. All right. Well, those guys that have been following us this whole time, those weird, mysterious men, are the Paladins, an order that's dedicated to stopping the evil machinations of these ancients and all. We have learned a lot recently. Apparently, Gandahar is actually the big bad. Reist works for him, not the other way around, and this has all been some elaborate ruse to get us exactly where they needed us to be. Well, Two Worlds guy does not take kindly to being fooled. Or to brothers. And they do seem to be sort of a brotherhood, so I guess that, that means they're pretty killable. We're gonna head over there to the first of the Black Towers. Thankfully, I also had the foresight to place a teleport stone there to save you 30 minutes of me walking through wolf country. Let's reclaim my teleport stone. There we go. Where is that old black tower? There it is. And yes, as you can see, they form a pentagram. Each of the towers is a point of it. We've seen these towers before in the distance, but we've never visited any of them. You can visit them at any time, but you can't do much with them except fight a few skeletons and whatnot in the courtyards unless you are on this part of the quest. Oh, here's some of the bad guy cultists. And they can bite me. I don't care about them. They have no real good loot. I want what's up here. This guy. The pentagram keeper. It's not Rice, even though it looks just like him. Ow. Okay. Well, he's a little tough, but Two Worlds guy is tougher still. And that's the end of him. Let me go ahead and loot him. He has a Valermo Sword of Fire, which is really cool. It's a pretty rare sword, but I don't care about it. It's not as good as my cool squeezed up junk. So it's just not worth worrying about right now. I do, however, get a level off of that guy, so let's go ahead and allocate our points and whatnot. There we go. Now all we need to do, that you can see it, disabled the barrier. Let me see if I can actually see Oswaro in the distance. Yes, see that fortress over there? That is Oswaro. That is where we are headed. We're gonna run for it. We'll fight anything that gets in our way after we leave the tower. There's no point worrying about these stupid cultists. There we go. We're clear of the tower. We're on our way to Oswaro and making good time. We are gonna kick Gandahar's butt. And Reist, too. I've forgotten about Reist. He's still around. There's some necromancers in our way. I don't care much for them, thank you. He hit me with his staff. He hit me with his staff. I mean, really. There's a million necromancers down there coming for us. Woo! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Look out, Two Worlds guy. They're coming. No worries, we've got good health. We got good stats and we're ready to finish this up. We well, are actually getting to the nastier looking part of the world. Oh, I do not want to fight those adamantine golems though. I will never fight one of those. Those are unstoppable. These big zombies, however, these are very tall zombies. I will fight them. They're very poisonous, but not overly threatening. 
There's a cemetery, but no taint. I don't think I'd help old Tainty out even if I could at this point. I'm tired of working for these morons. I will, however, uh, show you a special monster that you've probably never seen. Goodness knows until my last playthrough, during an earlier recording of this finale, I had never seen this monster before either. These things, Miamats, are really horrible looking. They're not terribly threatening, they have a lot of health. They tend to get stunned a lot, so I'm not too worried about them. They're just all jiggly and terrible. They only drop gold, so there's not a lot for them. Shame, it looks like they'd have some really cool, powerful alchemy ingredient. But no, nothing. Not a darn thing. Probably another example of content that just shows up for a few seconds and never again that was probably meant to be in other places and have something to do with something. Out of the way, zombie. I don't care if you're like a, a slapper-sized zombie. Oh, is that the devil? Is our old pal the devil? He's here. No, it's not. This is a different kind. This is a hell lord. It's a much tougher version. Oh, as you can see, a much tougher version. We're gonna face him off, though. Yeah, I got strength now. Oh, yeah, I got my strength spell. It makes me radical. You're no match for me, Hell Lord. Two Worlds guy does not fear Hell Lords. Two Worlds guy doesn't fear much except adamantium golems and maybe like four stone golems at the same time. He has a few ingredients and potions and junk. It's not worth the trouble. I don't care about ingredients anymore. I am literally minutes away from completing the game. We've reached the gates of Oswaro, though. He was our last obstacle on the road. This is a very messed up dead city. Again, more cut content, most likely. It probably had some backstory to it that we should have known about, but it's not in the game. What's the? Uh-oh. Hellmasters? What's this? We've got Hellmasters here. Uh-oh. So I was summoning an endgame enemy there with the Hellmaster. Nice. Ah, they're not too bad. I can handle Hellmasters. That one's a little pudgy. I think he needs a Stairmaster. Look, they're kind of fat. I don't know. Okay, just you with your little cutlass. You're not so tough. Nope. Down you go. They, of course, have their gear and everything. And... Usually some potions and a little gold. They're nothing worth worrying about, though. There's some skeletons that aren't after me and a chest. Mm, won't open. Summon scorpion. Yeah, I'm never going to do that. Sorry. Alright, well that was kind of a dead end. we got to find our way through this maze-like set of crumbling walls. I think this is the way we need to go. Uh-oh, I see more Hellmasters up ahead. Or are they? No, those are not Hellmasters at all. They're... they're dead knights. Yep, I recognize their weird helmet. Okay, they're not gonna hit me too hard. Good. Just wanted to give them a little check there. Oh, they do kinda hit hard in clusters, though. Gotta watch out for that. Oh! Oh my goodness. Hey, get off there, Two Worlds guy. Man, I remember when you guys kicked my ass in that mine, but you're not so tough anymore, are you? Ha ha! Gotcha! I don't need their drops. I don't care about their drops. I care about that jerk in the green cloak up ahead. And not much else. 
I don't want to fight anything else if I can help it, though. Let's do this, Reist. I've been waiting for you. You have destroyed our defenses, but you are too late to save your sister. Ganduhar has already opened the tomb. Get out of my way! I have my orders. No one gets into this castle unless it's over my dead body. A true death wish. I can take care of that. He told me you would try. Let's find out if you are really as good as they say you are. And Reist immediately turns himself into a gargantuan demon, and he is the ultimate dunker of the game. He's actually quite tough, but he is no match for Two Worlds guys' invincible style of swing a few times and jump back. Not a lot to say about Reist, he's just a big fight. He's a unique creature, of course. You'll never see another one of these. But if you had any doubts that these were bad guys, I'm pretty sure turning into a giant lizard demon is a pretty good indicator that you are, in fact, a bad guy. He's down to about half his life. As long as you don't get hit by him at all, you're fine. He's like level 900 bajillion D probably, and he'll kill you pretty quick. I think one hit is more than enough to kill me at any level with any amount of health or armor or anything. He's not the boss of the game, but he is the hardest enemy in the game. Gandahar's considerably easier. Whoa, watch out. There we go. And we gained several levels for killing him. He is lootable. It's in his head, not his butt, strangely. All it is is a winged demon eye. It sometimes drops off those winged demons like I killed outside the gates. But let's get that star off of the top of my head by spending my skill points. And go ahead and buy some more earth magic, not that I care. Alright, let's finish it up. It's time for you and me. Gandahar. I see I must find someone to replace Reist. Where is Kira? Your sister is very strong. She will be magnificent as the new Azirol. The transformation is almost complete. I will not permit you to do this. Do you really care for her so much? More than you could ever imagine. Then let the transformation take place. If you stop it now, she will age, suffer from illnesses, and just die one day in her bed, unless someone kills her first. That is our destiny as humans. It need not be yours. As a god, Kira will be immortal. The ancients need her, and they need you too. You have been given a chance. Do not ignore it. All they have given me is a road through the netherworld. You have always served them, although you were not aware of it. It is now time you accepted that. You will benefit from it. Why would they care for mere mortals? When the ancients arrived in our universe, they encountered strong defenses. Our world is a living organism, well protected from invasion. Aziral, the gods, all beings, they are connected with one another. The fluid of life flows through all of us, almost invulnerable to illness and corruption. Now imagine that the gods are the system that guards the world from infection. What do you think happened when Aziral fell 300 years ago? The Taint was able to invade our world? Aye. It was only a small breach. But enough. The Taint is evolving. It eludes our world's defenses and seeks a way to open the gate and let the Ancients in. Aziral is one such gate. I believe that if you cannot beat the system, you must corrupt it. 
Who will guard our world when the guards are on our side? All you have to do is join us and let it happen. And if I refuse? This world must change. Tis its destiny. Hmm. So, he's offering us immortality to join him. But what Gandahar doesn't seem to know is that Tural's guy's already immortal, as we've seen a number of times. So, bite me. You have wasted so many chances. Tis not the first time that you have disappointed me. I have had enough of you. They're so pathetic. Two worlds guy managed to deliver one last burn. Alright, Gandahar, let's do this. Thank you so bad, huh? Well, fireballs don't scare me at all, so... Ow. They do annoy me, however. Suck it. the night here. Kira? <laughs> that took a long time. How do you feel? We have ridden too long. I was exhausted. But I feel better now. We shall find a place of rest eventually. I promise you. And that's the end, everybody. Thank you very much. No, I don't know what the hell that was all about, but thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with me through this buggy mess of a game. I just want to say that I had a great time. I hope you did too. I hope you appreciate the weird wonders of Two Worlds and what it offers despite being such a malign buggy mess. In the end, this game was supposed to be competing with the likes of Oblivion. And I think it's important to frame it in history, in gaming history, where it stands there. Because Oblivion had a million bajillion dollar budget and a huge team of people with a huge, vast pedigree of games in its own franchise. Great deal of time and effort and experience. Two Worlds had a shoestring budget, about a dozen guys in Poland, and they'd never made an RPG in their life. And yet, in direct competition with this multi-mega-million dollar game, Two Worlds manages to distinguish itself as actually being fun. Something that unfortunately, and a lot of critics will agree, Oblivion forgot to do. In the end, it doesn't matter if your game is the most amazing technological marvel in the world. It doesn't matter if it's beautiful, if it has fantastic special effects throughout it. In the end, it doesn't even matter if it works right all the time. What matters about video games is that they be fun. And Two Worlds is an incredible amount of fun. It's many things, and fun is the most of all. So I just want to say, if anybody involved in the creation of this game ever sees these videos, thank you. Because you made something amazing, and you didn't have a lot to start with. And I can respect that. For now, though, that's the end of Two Worlds. But it's not quite the end of our story, because there's a sequel to this game. And I also love it. 
and I will see you guys in Two Worlds 2. Good night, everybody.